Now I want to show some examples of sales um, sales manager dashboard. So I'm not talking about the sales people, but the people who manage sales people. And the examples I'm going to be showing here is actually uh, some examples that some of our clients. Uh, actually, the example I'm going to be showing is for one of our clients that went through or is constantly going through a process to analyze how they can make the management of their salespeople more efficient, how can sales managers understand what's going on and influence the salespeople to be more targeted, to be more efficient, and to close my smart sales. So now I'm going to just switch to data self analytics. Uh, could be this could be done in any tool, it could be Excel, could be you know other BI solutions. I'm showing data self analytics because it's actually what we use to provide for our clients. Anyhow, uh, so this company when they started um, uh, investing in analytics, uh, they want to have their you know sales managers and salespeople a lot more aligned with what was going on, trying to find trends among different salespeople and different clients that would be the good trends or the bad trends to help the whole sales team to learn from those successes and mistakes to be better next time. So they start as a, as a journey, as I mentioned, you know, when you start, if you're not on top of your things, you don't know exactly where you're going, but it's an exciting process. You know, as you learn things and you help your, your, your sales team be more educated, uh, you can improve a lot uh, your, your efficiency. So this is, uh, a dashboard that uh, a sales manager um, pretty much every week on Mondays, uh, he will look, you know, we pretty much have the salespeople uh, and then bars for each one of them telling how much the opportunities they have on the CRM system. He will see the whole opportunities and then he can filter this, these opportunities by if it's open and closed, what is the stage of the opportunity, uh, what months expected to close, and at the bottom, he has the actual opportunities in the CRM system. So it's a kind of a vanilla, obvious uh, pipeline, uh, 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 pipeline um, dashboard that usually you find in CRM systems that provide this kind of perspective. Uh, but the reason why they decided to use Data Self to um, replace their CRM uh, and ERP reporting was because uh, they said, Johnny, you know, we really need to be flexible, analyzing our trends, be able to change things and experiment. And what we've been trying to do for the past year and a half before Data Self was working with IT and some report writing that they have in pretty much every interaction that they want to change how things would look in the dashboard, how they would bring data together. It would take usually days or weeks for IT to come back with the final modification the way that the salespeople was working in something they would like to do like in three months usually would take six months to one year to get it done because just the whole reporting and, uh, and analytics was just too cumbersome they have to submit a request wait for, for uh, wait for it to get, get it done so say no we need to become independent we need to start slicing dicing our data putting these dashboards together experimenting discussing with salespeople. we need to get it out of this equation uh, support us, yes, but let us be independent. Anyhow, uh, when they started this process, they had pretty much uh, the same kind of, you know, dashboard that they had in the CRM system. So, you know, like I said, kind of vanilla. But the cool thing is, what I'm going to show you is the end result of about four months of, you know, uh, interacting with the framework and, and customizing it. I'm going to show an example. So, Let's say the account, the, um, uh, the account manager would be talking with Ad, which is one of the salespeople. So start the meeting, he clicks on Ad, and then right now he only sees Ad opportunities. Right now I'm just looking at opening. I could, I could discuss what he won, what he lost. You know, it would be a very interactive discussion. Anyhow, uh, he, has, he has control of you know, filtering of different options. However, uh, once they go into, okay, now what opportunities on the pipeline? How can I help you? What's going on with this client? Is it good? Is it bad? Then they realize there's several kind of, kind of questions or discussions that would be involved in salespeople that uh, they should have in their fingertips to quickly go through those trends that are critical for the discussion. For instance, so um, talking with Ed, 
And hey, Ed, how about, you know, this client here is a big opportunity, is it still early in the process? What's going on with this client? What, what else we have with them, right? So before, before they self, they have to go and jump into different reports and go to the ERP system to look at what invoices they sold. Are there any sales order? Is the client with um, pending receivables? You know, usually a relationship with a client has so many different pieces connected with your business. And sometimes some of those connections are critical for you to do better when you're dealing with a new opportunity. So what this organization did is they built this dashboard. And when you click on this person, this particular client, now we have these four different drill down or drill through options. They can go click AR aging and see if this client is current, if it's something delays, uh, you know, because sometimes that's something important for their business. Uh, they can just email the prospect, you know, email right there, send an email to ask something. So they don't have to go to the email, find the email, the, the address of the person. And so quick and easy. Uh, they use marketing automation tools that bring information from uh, website visits, what page they visit, how many social media interactions. So they could go to the marketing auto automation tool specifically to see what this client is doing on their website. And they also created this dashboard that shows information from their ERP system. I'm going to click right now. So I'm going to go into sales analysis for this particular customer. So right now, just by clicking on this second option, they go to a different, in this case, is a different part of the dashboard that shows year over year sales for that particular customer by brand and by product. So in this current month, they see last year and this year side by side by brand and by product. And if the sales is going down, it shows as this orange color. If it's going up, it's showing as blue. So the idea of for this business is because they have seasonal business. And in this report, by the way, is month to date. So let's say if we have 15 days, if you want the June 15th, we're comparing how much they bought last, last year through June through the 15th compared to this year. So it's a true side-by-side -side comparison. And if you have decline, that can be a problem. So the idea here is, for instance, they look at this, like in this case, of course, I pick an, a situation that could be a, a problem. We're seeing many declines with items. The total for the month, it is a decline versus last year for this brand. And is this a trend? Is this a problem? Is this just, you know, a hiccup? Well, let's see. Let's check what happened last month. So in this case, this is something that they do. They can select different months. And sure enough, overall, the business last month also declined. Well, that's two red flags. Some items are declining, and last month, comparing to the same month last year, it also declined. Well, maybe you need to dig further to see what's going on, call the client to see if there's competitors, if they're not happy. But making this kind of you know, flow that you don't have to go to different reports, to different systems, call IT, to be right there on the spot is very informative. Uh, they have also at the bottom here another section that shows open orders. You know, what this client already has in the pipeline, or actually in, in, in actual orders, that are supposed to ship this month, next month, in the future. So the point is, the idea of this uh, interaction as make the meeting between the sales manager and the salesperson something that people can focus on the business issues and not jumping through loops and hoops in Excel sheets and complications, oh, let me see, I don't have this information, let's talk again next week. No, you need to fine tune your process, you need to learn your process and fine tune in a way that you can give these people tools that they can focus on the job and move forward and not being scrambling with the reporting analytics tools. Uh, and overall, you know, I have some other um, reports here in dashboards that uh, are also being used by this organization. Um, I thought this, this one was a, an interesting perspective. Uh, this one shows uh, by salespeople, uh, these are, you know, how many weeks since the last contact with a particular um, uh, lead or, or client. 
and then the color of each of these cells relates to how much an opportunity is into that particular bucket. So let's say if I click on this one for Dan, there's 12 opportunities that are here at the bottom with a total of $3 million. And then, uh, hey, Dan, you know, why are you not calling again these people? You know, you should call these people every week. You shouldn't wait for a full week to call these important leads. You know, salespeople are super busy usually. And sometimes they can get, they can lose track of what's important. Or sometimes they actually, they're just handling the, the, the account uh, because that's their job. But let's say a particular client might have some other issues with the business that the, the, the sales manager knows that the account, the, uh, the salespeople doesn't. And then having this kind of uh, dashboards will help them have, again, a more educated, a more targeted conversation among the opportunities to be more efficient when they tackle sales opportunities with clients. And again, all of these things are interactive. You click, you can drill down, you can go to the reports. Uh, the last one, which is also you know, pretty popular, is having sales funnels that you can also filter by different ways, interactive that you can click, you can email, you can go to other dashboards, all very interactive uh, and all very targeted specifically for procedures that will help the sales team be more efficient. All righty, let's move forward. I'm going to make a second quick uh, poll, so let me just launch it. So just clicking, um, what are your main reporting challenges? And be sure to um, check all the options and click the submit button. Don't forget to click the submit button. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. All right, thank you very much. Just sharing quickly. So, um, difficult to use is the top one, and data consolidation the second one. Thank you very much.